Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, then welcome for the first time. Today I thought it'd be fun to film my Tylee shoot that I'm doing with Geek Strong, so I'm on my way to the shoot right now. I mean, obviously I'm in my car, but I'm like about to be on my way. Um, but I did film a little get ready with me and kind of show you the pieces of my outfit. So I'll show you guys that first, and then I'll show you the shoot. And then I figure afterwards we can have a little, a little chat because I've been getting um, a bunch of DMs about what I think about the new announcement of Avatar Studio since I posted about how excited I was on my Insta and a bunch of people have been asking me questions about what I think. So I thought I could do like a little chat afterwards. So yeah, it's going to be a fun Avatar fill, filled day and I need to go start driving to the shoot now so I'm not late because I'm always late. I already started my makeup but then I decided to film my like as I get ready with me rather than just kind of a shoot vlog so sorry that it's kind of starting in the middle but hopefully you'll kind of just see the rest of the process. I don't know I'm also gonna have to take a break like in the middle of doing my makeup to like in the middle of getting ready to film like a little video for my dad for his birthday and also yeah apologies I'm in like my weird uh, pajamas because I don't want to get makeup on my clothes so I don't know but yeah um this is how I get ready for Tyree There's a ton of blush, lots of pink, um, very tiley. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, film this little project for my dad for his birthday. I'm gonna get changed too since I don't have to worry about getting makeup on my clothes anymore. And then I get to start prepping my wig and I think that my cosplay is gonna need a little bit of attention as well before I put it on. I think it needs to be like ironed, um, you know, cause it's got wrinkles cause I haven't worn it in a while. Uh, yeah, I also think I have to put on the cosplay before I put on the wig. I kind of remember that you can't like get it on over the head So I've got to remember to do that. So I just went and ironed everything because as predicted it was all wrinkled Now it's all lying here on my very messy bed. But I can show you kind of the pieces um, It's got like that little armbands And then this is like the little skirt thingy And then it's like it's so simple then it's got the little like thing that goes around her neck and then inside this to give it structure I add pipe cleaners um, and this little pipe clean cleaner contraption literally just goes right inside and like along the edges it looks kind of crazy right now um, that kind of gives it like a little bit of like structure so it's not just kind of flopping down on my shoulders um, when I wore it to Katsukon it did it didn't have this part yet this was added for when I did the shoot with Mina um, and Geek Strong so I think it looks a lot better with it though, so I'll keep using that. And then pants, which are basically like just sweatpants. <laughs> like that's all they really are. They're super easy to make. I made all this by the way. Um, yeah, sweatpants just super easy to make. Um, and then shirt. And then this shirt was actually modeled after my Kim Possible shirt that I wear. I literally just remade exactly that same shirt and then just added like this type of collar instead of like Kim Possible's collar just like doesn't have this little like dip in it. Um, so that's like really the only difference. But other than that, it's basically the same. Um, it's like the same crop, the same everything. 
Um, cause I knew that that shirt fit me really well. So I just wanted one that fit exactly the same. Ta-da! It's the whole thing. Let's go to the shoot. They have goats. Why do they have goats? at me. Shoot time! Ah, my wig is falling. I said this would happen. Uh, I hate this wig so much. I like it. It's so heavy. So it falls. So I have to constantly like pull on it to get it to not fall. And then all the pins fall out because it's too thick. Real time would be like hanging upside down off of it. <laughs> we're, we were shooting your yoga. I'm just saying like real Tilly would be like hanging upside down off a tree, but I'm not gonna do that because I value my life. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Play down there and see what Tyler, you would just like run and like hop over this, right? Yeah. But I can't do, do that? that. Come on, man. Full. Oh, you gotta get full character. Please don't hurt yourself. Parkour, parkour. <laughs> now I need to get over the top. You can yell hardcore, parkour. That's wig. It's wig. Love. All my pins fell out. It's fallen. It's heavy. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Someone else is doing a photo shoot. Careful, spot we went. Yeah, I'm not wearing shoes that have any grip whatsoever, so I might need to go kind of slow. Let's go over here in this big old tree stuff. Maybe we can get something cute where you could sit in there. This is very like witchy in here. But we're gonna make it cute. I'm gonna make it cute. Witchy, but make it cute. All right. Come up and you see this branch right here in front of you? Stand there and put your hand over the branch like that. And that's gonna be the shot. <laughs> All right, you can kind of do a pose there. And then I'm gonna put this down, turn it off for a second while we do these. But that was... <laughs> Ruby hey. still doesn't know where the record button on this camera is <laughs> after all this time. All right. There's a trail over here. You want me to take this? Yeah. Let's go down here and go on one of the long, there's a long... Oh boy, you want me to walk down here in these shoes? Well, these are little, they're actually okay. quite easy to go because it's locked. So this is what happens is Rui wears these boots and then he's always like, follow me! And I'll be in like heels or something. I'm bitter, zero out of three now Thought that I'd be 
Try to get trapped in these, and then I have to call I the fire like department. I'm gonna get in, and then it's like, how do I and get then out? Call the fire department because she didn't apparently think just getting up here would have been easier. Well, then how would I have gotten over? Okay, fair I'm enough. Here. I wouldn't have been able to. I didn't really film the last part because it was so quick. We literally just like put my bag down, did a couple headshots, and that was it. Um, so I'm taking off my wig finally because oh my gosh, this thing hurts so bad. And um, I have this problem where because this is how all my um, bobby pins wind up here, by the way. Um, because we shoot um, in Pasadena, when I'm going home, I live um, to the west. Yeah, to the west of Pasadena. So um, when we shoot at golden hour, what that means is that my way home is the sun is completely in my eyes and it blinds me and I can't see anything and driving on the freeway is the most terrifying thing ever. Um, so, so I'm just taking off as much of the cosplay as I can so I'm not like walking into Starbucks in cosplay. But yeah, I'm basically gonna go run into Starbucks. Hopefully they're open still because I'm not sure what time they close. Um, and then I'll come back and we can chat and hang out about um, the new, sorry I'm trying to take off the little skirt thing, about the new um, Avatar Studios. There we go. Until it gets um, dark enough for me to drive home until the sun goes down enough that it won't be directly in my face. So I'll put on a face mask. Let's get some Starbucks. I'm back. Got a drink. And now we're just waiting for the sun to set. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to talk about, I got some snacks too, so I might snack a bit. Um, I just wanted to talk about my thoughts on Avatar Studios because people keep asking me about them um, and obviously I posted about them and how excited I was. So people are curious. Yeah, so I don't know any more than anyone else <laughs> in like the general public does. I'm not like, somehow like in the know with anything all I know is basically what the announcement was which was um, about Avatar Studios that the co-creators of Avatar are going to be running them with Nickelodeon um, and that hopefully we'll be getting some new Avatar content uh, that is not the uh, the live action Netflix and also not the live action movie that we do not talk about the movie that shall not be named um, yeah a lot of people were like asking me they were like wait I thought that the creators left the show um, they left the Netflix live action. I don't know if that's even still happening. I haven't heard that it's not, but I've heard a lot of things that make me think that maybe they might give up on it. Fingers crossed they give up. I'm sorry, I'm not, I wasn't excited about it from the beginning. Even when the creators were attached, I still had my doubts on that one. I just, I don't know, I don't, I didn't need a live action. I didn't need it from Netflix. So yeah, I still have my doubts about that. And when the creators left, I especially just lost complete, I just, 
didn't care about it at all, lost interest. If the creators aren't involved, I'm not interested, basically. I don't consider it canon. Um, so I didn't care about that, but this is not that. That's two separate things. That's the live action that Netflix was doing. This is a completely different project. This is like under the Nickelodeon, Viacom, Paramount um, umbrella. Um, and it sounds like the creators, Mike and Brian, are going to have control over it. So everything will be canon. And I trust that when things are in their hands, everything is going to be good. So they did mention the possibility of an animated movie, um, which would be amazing. A new series would be great. The only thing, I see a lot of people talking about how bad they want either like like a older gang series, like, you know, like the the original Avatar gang of like Aang and Toph and Katara and everything, but older. I know people really want a series of that. Um, I don't want a series of that, honestly, and my reasoning for that is because it's been so long. Um, I feel like most people have like formed their own ideas about what happens next. They have their own headcanons. They have their own like ideas of what they want to happen and because of that they're not going to be able to make anyone happy i know i certainly have my own ideas and my own theories um and these are things that if you think about how long it's been since avatar ended how long we've had to think about these things they've kind of become our own canon in a way and so yeah they're not going to be able to make fans happy that way everyone's going to be like Everyone's gonna want their own ideas to come true, and when they don't, then they're gonna be upset, and I don't wanna hear about that. I don't wanna hear people complaining about that. Yeah, and then my second reason is just like, I feel like that series ended on a good note. It ended where the creators said they wanted it to end. I feel like we can move on from there. There's so many other stories within that universe that can be told, you know, that I don't think we need to stick with the same characters as much as we love them. You know, I do think it, we can move on from them. I also see people really wanting like a next gen series of, you know, like Boomy 2, Tenzin, um, Arrow 2, uh, Lin, all, all those like characters. Um, that I'm, I'd be more excited for than a um, like older gang series, but still, I still feel like let's move on, like let's explore other avenues here. Um, but that I could see being quite cool, so that one I'd be a little more excited for, but yeah, um, still a bit more like, okay, let's move on. One thing I would really would like to see is that the Kiyoshi books would become animated, like that would make me really happy. I've talked about the Kiyoshi books a couple times, I think I've talked about it on YouTube before, and I know I've talked about it on TikTok, but you guys, these books are so good, they're so well written, they're an absolutely amazing addition to the Avatar universe. They're like, I'm not like a huge fan of the comics, so they're like really just my favorite like addition. I hope, I know there's, I don't think there's plans for a third book, but I can hope that there'd be a third book because oh my gosh, they're so great. I like, they're the kind of books where like I get them, you know, the day they come out and then read them that day, you know, and that night because they're just amazing. You can't put them down. I don't want to like spoil them, so I don't want to like say too much about them, but they're really fantastic and one of the great things about them is that they go a lot farther into like they got they go a lot farther into like the possibilities of what you can do with bending so they are a little bit darker you know things like people you know getting impaled on uh, icicles stuff like that i mean they did that a little bit in Korra, but yeah i'd like them to go a bit farther with it so that was really great to see it was a lot darker a lot a little bit more violent I'd say and then there's some other things too that I love in it that I just I won't spoil because I want you to read them but like read them like they're so good anyway back to what I was saying is I would love to see those animated that would make me really happy especially if they kept to the books and they did like a true book to animated series adaption that would make my life that that would be fantastic and then other than that I don't know how much I feel like I need stories of other avatars to be told. Like, I think that'd be cool. I definitely think that there's that's something that they're going to do. But for me, I would just love some stories of, like, characters that are just completely unrelated. Maybe, like, happening at the same time of the Hundred Year War. Or maybe, the, like, the portion of the Hundred Year War before Aang, like comes out of his iceberg something like that um just like some other stories or maybe like take like a side character or someone we meet just once and kind of flesh them out and have more of a story for them i think that could be really cool so yeah those are some of the things that i'm 
personally hoping to see. I am really hyped for this. I hope that it does well. I hope that um, we also get with this that Avatar gets a lot more attention from Nickelodeon, that we get a lot more merch because I will buy it and maybe I'll even have some new characters to cosplay. But yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments uh, of Avatar Studios. If you have an opinion on it, let me know. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I see a lot more potential in this than I have with some of the other projects that have come out from Avatar. Netflix, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Live action series. <laughs> See, it's not quite dark enough, I think, for me to drive home yet. The sun isn't in the right, but I'm literally waiting for the sun position to change. <laughs> but I will sit here um, for a bit and eat my snacks. So I'll end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy videos like this. Please let me know if you do. If you do like videos like this, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe. You can follow me on other social media. I've got them all. I've got Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. You can follow me everywhere. Patreon, which I've been pushing a lot because I work hard on my Patreon. I work really hard on it um, and because I need money. So yeah, you can follow me everywhere. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you for next week for my next video. Bye. And then punch the camera. <laughs> and that's when you gotta go like, woo! Like, no, no, you gotta, you gotta move the oh, camera okay, like go. I it, like, Yeah. Now the audience is dead. <laughs> <laughs>